Welcome to the RC Community Sticker Project, brought to you by Fast Freddy RC. In today's video, we're doing a shout out to RC Birds. Great guy, awesome projects, mine friend. So for step one, charging the battery pack. Well, as I said in the manual overview, I'm not going to do that just now. Um, I just always find there's not much point in charging a battery pack when we're not even close to testing out any of the RC equipment. So for me, I leave this step until we're a lot closer to, to the where we need it. So feel free to either do the same or you can charge it uh, anytime you want, really. But I will not be doing this step at this point. So... We're going to move right into step two, the differential gears. And you can see that we need to make two of them. And here are the differential spur gears. And you can see that the differential sits well inside the gear. And in fact, the gears themselves are pr quite big. Um, and you can see that the differential is just going to sit inside of there. So here are the gears we're going to be working with and uh, the cover that's going to go over top after we've added the differential and then of course here are all of our gears and washers and star shafts etc so i'll set this up and we'll put this together okay so first off let's grab the main gear and it shows that you need to grease up the washer so we're going to grease up the washer as it says bit of a messy job and I'm going to put that down there at the bottom just like that then we're gonna grab the bevel gear and you're gonna want to grease the underside of that as well so that's what we'll do and pop that right down there on the under underside and then it wants you to grease the top of it so we'll do that too now it's nice that they give you a bigger tube of grease um, but we'll see I mean there's just so many gears in this one it may not be enough um, now we're gonna work on the star now for me, I just like to hold one, one end, put a little bit of grease on these ones first. Get the little bevel gear here, spin it around. Then I can hold on to that one while I grease up the other one that we didn't do earlier. Grab another bevel gear slide that on spin it around and grab another one and spin it around now they're showing you that they want you to grease the little bevel gears well i wait for that because i find that it's easier to put this in so if we were to let's put this into the gear piece first just like that so you can see there in there and then you've got the bigger gear that you can hold on to while you spin and grease up the rest and I mean some of the grease from the larger bevel gear is getting onto onto these little guys anyway but I am gonna give it just a little bit more grease so there we go there's our greased differential and now we're you can see they show you the picture yes that's what it looks like so now we're going to work with this other side so they want you to grease up this side of the gear so we'll do that and again it's going to get greased up anyway by what we put on the on the little gears so we're gonna slide that and put it over top, just like that. And then we have to 
put in another washer. So I'm just going to grease this bit here too. Grab our washer, put that on there, and then they want you to grease the washer as well. And then you can see after we've greased everything up, we're going to put this over top and you can see that there are notches in the top piece and notches in the bottom. So you know that that's going to sit over top just like that. And then we need to screw them in. Now I'm just going to clean my hands off for a second. And we're going to grab our screws and they're tapping screws. So you know where they're going to end up being. Now, I'm not going to go all the way through. I want to make sure that the other ones are seated properly. So there we go. And you can feel when it, you're at the end because it just really grabs and then it, you know that's the end point. And you don't need to tighten these too, too much. Go a little way, but don't over tighten. Now, technically the differential is done and I actually went ahead and did the other one just to save a bit of time so you didn't have to watch the same thing over and over again. But now that it's finished, one of the things that I like to do just to make sure that I've built this properly is test it out. So what you want, might want to do is go into bag B, which you don't aren't needing yet for the step, but it's going to give you your drive cups. And if you slick, stick one of them in and stick the other one on the other side, you'll be able to tell whether that differential is correct. So you can see if I hold both and I turn it this way, it's going both are forward. Both are back. And if I hold this side, I can spin this side. If I hold this side, I can hold this side, or I can just spin them back and forth. And this feels really, really smooth. But because I'm not feeling any binding or anything, I know that I've built the differential correctly. Because again, if you, if something wasn't quite right, something had binded, there, something was catching, and you put the whole thing together, you're going to end up having to take the entire thing apart because you can see in this step, in step five, once those two halves are together, there's not a lot you can do. You'll have to tear the whole thing apart. So anyway, that's my suggestion. Grab your cups and do a test. But step two is complete. Differentials are built. So now we can move on to step three and attach the differential gears. Mm -hmm.